A potter named Chandler lived in the village of the Mean Park. His first wife had died, with whom he had a daughter, Raven. Chandler married again. He had a daughter named Nia with his second wife, Natalie. When Natalie got married, she treated Raven, her stepdaughter, badly. She used to make her do all the household work and sometimes didn't give dinner to her. When Chandler came home from work, Natalie used to start to act like she is working. Raven was very polite and that's why her mother used to take advantage of her nature. Natalie used to tell her to do a lot of work. She only gave her stale food. One day, Natalie buys a lot of fruits from the market. She eats all the fruits herself and gives the leftover pomegranate to Raven. Hey Raven, eat this pomegranate. Otherwise, you will say that mother doesn't give me anything to eat. No mother, why will I say that? Huh, who knows what you say about me? Raven takes the pomegranate to the garden and starts eating it. She eats some of it and some pomegranate seeds fall on the ground. She becomes sad and starts crying there. After eight days, a small plant starts to grow in the garden. After seeing it, Raven becomes happy. Raven used to water the plant every day and do all the household work as well. One day, her father becomes very ill, so he decides to rest in the house. Now there is no way to earn for the family and Natalie starts fighting with everyone because of this. A lot of days passed like this, but Chandler's health didn't seem to be improving. So Natalie gets irritated and goes to her parents' home with Nia. Raven takes care of her father very well. But all the food in the house gets finished and now she goes to the garden and starts crying. And then suddenly, Raven, Raven. Who is there? Whose voice is this? Raven, it's me, the pomegranate tree that you planted. Can you speak? Yes, Raven, I am a magical pomegranate tree which you made. Raven, stop crying and tell me what is the problem. I will help you. How can you help me? Just tell me your problem and see the magic. My father is very ill and my stepmother has also left the house. No food is left to eat now. How will I get food and money for my father's medicine? After saying this, Raven starts crying again. Suddenly, a lot of pomegranates appear on the tree. They are so beautiful that she keeps looking at them. Pomegranate tree speaks. Raven, take all the pomegranates from my branches and go sell them in the market. You can buy food and medicines for the money you earn. She takes all the pomegranates. She puts them in a basket and starts to sell them in the market. What's the rate? Rupees 50 per kg. Only 50 rupees per kilogram. Please give me 2 kilograms pomegranate. Soon, all her pomegranates are sold and she comes back home. On her way home, she buys some food and medicines for her father. She happily feeds her father and gives him the medicines. Later, she goes to the back garden to thank the tree. Then she notices that the tree has a lot of pomegranates again. Hey, your magical tree. Thank you. Today we were able to eat proper food after so many days. You can take the pomegranates and sell them every day. You will never be sad again. Now every morning, Raven used to take all the pomegranates from the tree and went to the market to sell them. Raven was happy that she was able to afford her father's trip. Father started feeling better and was well in a few days. He started working as a potter again. Now, Raven used to help him as well. With time, Raven became rich by selling pomegranates. Now they had everything. Raven bought a shop in the village. She and her father used to do their business from the shop. One day, a big car stopped at her shop and a very handsome person came out of it. How much for all the pomegranates? 200 rupees. Do you want all of them? Yes, all of them. The young fellow keeps looking at Raven's beauty. He buys the pomegranates and leaves. The next day, Natalie returns home with her daughter. Chandler gets angry with her. Natalie feels bad for her behavior and cries in remorse. He forgives her on Raven's request. The young fellow with the big car comes to their home the same day. My name is Samuel and I run my own business. I live in this city. I liked your daughter very much and would like to marry her. Oh, yes, yes, but you should have brought your parents. We would have liked to talk to them about this. I have no one in this world. I am alone. Sorry to hear that. It's okay. You should ask Raven if she would like to marry me or not. Raven, please come outside, daughter. 
Would you like to marry him? Raven blushes and runs back inside. Soon they get married. Raven comes back to the magical tree and says to him, "Hey, the magical pomegranate tree, you helped me a lot. Thank you so much. Please take care of my father as well." Yes, you should go. Don't worry about it at all. After this, she leaves for her house and lives happily. We learn from the story that we should not behave badly with anyone. Good things happen to good people. You idiot! Does it take so long to fetch water? There are clothes to wash, utensils to clean. Who is going to do that? Mm -hmm. I will do it right away, mom. Don't you dare call me mom. You killed your own mother during birth, and now you wish to kill me too. Oh, Stacy dear, you got up early. Are you not feeling well? <sighs> yes, mom. I'm just feeling hungry. Give me something to eat. Oh my god. See, my darling is hungry. And the switch has not even cooked food yet. Now are you going to stare at me or will you cook food now? Uh, I will cook right away, mom. Mom, today I wish like eating fish. Oh yes, dear. Today for you we will cook fish. Hey Anna, did you hear that? My daughter wants to eat fish today. Go and catch some fresh fish from the river. Hmm? Uh, yes, I'm going. Huh? Today I'm unable to find a single fish. What shall I do? Mom, I miss you a lot. Why did you leave me? Am I so bad? Speak up, mom. Huh? Oh, my ring. This is my mother's only thing left. Give me back my ring. Huh? What kind of tunnel is this? is this help help my children there's fire fire someone save my children they will die help my children my little children they are trapped in fire somebody save them please save them dear can you save them please help me don't worry oh bird i'll rescue them Very grateful to you, dear. You may proceed on this road ahead. Ah? Uh ah? -huh. Uh -huh. How come? How is the water of this river drying up? Oh, so you are here. That ring is my mother's last thing I have. Give it to me back right now. You catch us and kill us every day. You are very bad. I will not give you the ring back. I'm helpless. I have to do that because my stepmother asked me to do that. Okay. I will give you the ring back. But you will have to do something for that. There lives a witch on that hill. She is drying up the water of this river with her black magic. If this continues, this river will dry up soon and we will be killed. You will have to stop the witch somehow and end this black magic. Okay. I will do that for you. But you will have to promise me one thing. If I succeed in stopping that witch, you will give me back my ring. Deal? Yes, of course. I promise you. Hmm. <laughs> Once all the water of this river dries up, I will eat the fish out there. Then I will not have to catch fish. <laughs> huh? You should.
should go away from here. This witch is wicked. She has trapped me in this cage. She will catch you too. Go away. Go away. Huh? Run away. I've opened your cage. No, no. I'm afraid to go out. The witch will catch me again. I will stay here itself. Well then, in that case, I will have to save you from the witch. Huh? Who are you? What are you doing here? You should stop your black magic now. This is drying up the river and all the fishes are dying. Please don't do this. <laughs> Interesting. I will eat all the fish out there. I am tired of catching the fish and that is why I am drying up the river. You should not do this. Don't do this. Oh, who are you to stop me? Now I will turn you into a fish and eat you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now I will bring some spices from the market. Then I will cook you and eat up. <laughs> Listen, Parrot, I need your help. If you don't show courage today, then we will not be able to get rid of the switch forever. You are a very brave and good girl. I will help you. Take this. Keep this magic wand with you. With its help you can teach a good lesson to the witch. Who brought you back to original? That he will tell you. You catch people and imprison them. Now we will make you pay for this. <sighs> Why are you doing this? I only wanted to eat fish. You were getting fish as per your need. But you are greedy and wanted to eat all of them. There is a big difference between greed and need. You are harming others for your greed and benefit. Forgive me, I was blinded by greed. You are right, I should take things as per my need. Forgive me, I will stop my black magic and I will not kill any fish from today. You open my eyes, dear. Thank you so much, Anna. You are really very sweet and good child. You saved us all. Even the nest of that bird and this parrot also. Huh? But how do you know this? <laughs> I know everything. I was just testing you. Now I want you to give something, after which you will never have to catch fish again. So much of gold? Yes, because you deserve this. Because your heart is more valuable than this gold. And here, take your mother's ring. <laughs> Thank you. I will be grateful to you forever. Thank you so much. Oh, what is this? Huh? So much gold? Where did you get this? Oh wow! Then we too will also go and bring lots of gold. And till then you must keep food ready. Wow! This is really a very nice place. Now we will take lots of gold from here. Please help me! Save my children! Save my nest! 
Are you out of your mind? Why should we risk our lives to save your nest? And what if something happens to us? Come on, mom, let's go fast. We have come here to get gold. This seems to be the same fish. Come, let's ask for gold. Hey you, fish, were you the one who gave gold to my Anna? Are you her mother? Yes, I am her mother. Now give us that gold too. Yes, I'll give it now. Oh, how did this happen? How did we become frogs? That is because both of you are lazy, slothful and greedy. You are Anna's stepmother. Both of you have treated her very badly. This is a punishment for that. No, no. Please forgive us. We will never treat her badly now. And we don't even need gold. Please make us as before. We will fix our mistakes. Now go and live happily together. This is for your own benefit. Please forgive us, dear. We have hurt you a lot. We are ashamed of our deeds. Please forgive us. Oh, mother. There was a farmer named Gary. One day he was working in his farm. Suddenly he found a pot full of gold in the field which was filled with gold coins. Oh, pot of gold? I am so lucky. Katie will be so happy when I'll show her. But just as he thinks about Katie, he feels a little scared. Uh, no, no. If I tell Katie, she will spread the news to the entire village. We found a pot of gold in our farm. We found a pot of gold in our farm. Oh my God. No, no. This should not happen. But how will I hide this from Katie? I cannot take this big pot all alone. I will have to find a solution. Gary then covered the pot with soil and reached home thinking about that matter. Today you're home early? Um, I'm feeling hungry. Serve the food quickly. Katie served the food, but Gary was not focusing on eating. Uh, Katie, I'm not hungry. I will go to the market. That's very strange. Just now you said you were hungry. Are you okay? Uh, yes, yes, I'm fine. I'll be back late. You have your dinner and go to sleep. Gary then goes to the market. He buys some fish and some cans of red color. He goes to his farm with those things. I should get to work now. Gary now mixes the red color in water and waters the farm with it. And then he spreads the fish all over the farm. Hmm, now it's fine. That night, he reaches his home very late. Oh, she's asleep. Katie, Katie. Get up, Katie. I have to tell you something. Oh, oh come fast. Huh. What happened? You came very late today. There is something. Come with me to the farm. Right now? It's late night. Let's go in the morning. No, Katie. Let's go right now. It has rained in our farm. How is this possible? It did not rain here. Sky is also clear. Oh dear, that is the point. It has rained only in our farm and that too, not an ordinary rain. It was rain of fish. There are plenty of fish in our farm which dropped from the sky. Fish rain? <laughs> are you feeling okay? I'm absolutely fine, Katie. Now come with me. With the lantern in their hand, they both reached the farm. See, Katie, this wasn't an ordinary rain. It was raining red from the sky. I have filled this water in a pot. When Katie saw fish all over the farm, she was astonished. She could see red spots here and there in the farm. Oh yes, there are so many fishes spread here. How did this happen? This looks like a miracle. 
let's take the pot filled with water home. But this is a secret and so don't tell this to anyone. Why will I tell anyone? With Katie's help, Gary brings home the pot filled with gold. Next morning, before Katie wakes up, Gary hid the pot in the courtyard of his home. When Katie woke up, she came to Gary asking about the pot. Listen, where have you kept the pot? Pot? Which pot? The one we brought from our farm last night. Some of the neighbors hear Katie talking. They all come near and gather around asking her about the pot. Pot? Which pot? Did you find a pot of gold? What is in the pot? Did you find a treasure? Oh, no, no. There is nothing of that kind. She must have dreamed last night. Mm, I haven't dreamt anything. Why do you lie? We brought a big pot last night from our farm. Yesterday night? Yes, yesterday night. You know, yesterday it rained very heavily in our farm. Mm, but yesterday it didn't rain here. That is the point. It rained only in our farm. Huh? And that too was not an ordinary rain. It rained red water from sky. And you know, plenty of fish also dropped from the sky on our farm. The pot was filled with that red water only. And everybody started laughing when Katie said this. The rain of fish? Is this really possible? He has really gone mad. Sister, you must have had some dream. Come, let's go. We wasted our time. <laughs> fish rain. Crazy women. Oh, 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 please stop. I'm telling the truth. Oh, it really rained fish in our farm. Now you please say something. <laughs> I told you, you must have had some dream. Now, let it go, Kitty. Please serve the breakfast. I am getting late for the farm. Hmm. Did I really dream last night? Hmm. Looking at his wife going inside with a confused mind, Gary smiles. Secret should remain secret. Otherwise, why would we call it so?